I came out to this property well over a year ago because nothing was working. I proposed to upgrade the three controllers they had over here to a single controller. Well, they took that proposal and gave it to the landscaper and now I'm out here because three of the most critical zones in the front of the property are not working. We've got our tempo multimeter and we're gonna do some continuity testing to see what they messed up. All right, well, I went through everything with my multimeter. We've got five wires that are either not ohming out or the ohms readings are way high, which means wires are touching. And if we take a really close look at these dry, dry rotted wires, you can see why. See like right here, the wire is exposed, the wire is exposed. It's exposed on a lot of spots. I'm starting to think that my problem that's out in the front of the property over there is in this rat's nest right here. And the reason why I think that is because this controller was just installed and it consolidated three controllers that were out here previously. And the person that had to do that had to step back and forth in here. And they probably stepped on that rat's nest, which probably pushed wires together. We're gonna focus on the four wires that control the four valves that we're working on and clean up those wires first but this whole thing needs to be cleaned up eventually all right so we're a little bit more organized here i've weeded out all of the wires that aren't currently connected to this controller or to this junction box where the other two controllers used to be i know this is a mess and at some point this will all need to get cleaned up but again we're only focused on four wires today that's zones number 25 26 27 28. we're going to get through those as soon as I can start troubleshooting some more here, this is just a nightmare. I want to clean all of this up. And it's taking me so much not to do all of that because that's not the task at hand right here. The task at hand is to figure out the right wires for these four zones right here. Actually, I take it back, there's five. 29 is also one of them. We got to go look for these yellow, yellow, brown, blue, and brown over here. Starting with this brown wire previous installer at least marked his wires. I kind of like that. He marked this one with the white wire, brown coming out. We're gonna come over here. Here's our white wire because we got the red and the yellow right here. The brown coming out is going to this light blue wire here. And it's connected to this wire that's loose. And we're looking for the light blue wire coming out of here. Just to double check that there isn't another possible light blue wire. Nope, that would be the only light blue wire coming out of that one. And that would make it this wire right here. Where are we going with this puppy? Way down here. All right, so we're gonna disconnect this wire. Oh, wow. I wonder if our grounding problem is because of that missing wire nut. I'm definitely redoing that whole common connection that you can hardly see right here because, oh look at that, one of the commons already fell off. Here I am getting distracted from the wire I was looking for to this problem. Now, I'll get back to this wire in a second. I'm gonna clean up these commons. I'm gonna cut all of them, pull them all back out, and then put them all back together nice and clean because I can't work like this. Well, this is one of the reasons why I wear gloves. Grease nuts can be messy and sticky. Well, we went ahead and got the common wire redone and I found these extra wires connected to it that I'm not entirely sure are supposed to be connected to the common wire given that these are red zone wires that go out to the field for the other half of the circuit. So unless somebody changed something in the field that didn't mark it on this end, I don't believe these belong where they were, but I've marked them so I can put them back if needed. The next thing I'm gonna do is now that I have my multimeter connected, I believe this was the blue wire we were looking for. And to confirm that, we are going to, that's 100% the wire we're looking for. Even though it's brown there, brown gets connected to blue over here, and it's blue here. That means the wire that we're trying to get continuity to, or power to a valve, is this one right here. Now that we've got our common wire right here, I even made myself a little pigtail for this. I'm getting an insanely high reading at 280. Well. Make sure that there's no other cuts in the wire here. Where is this one going? But I mean, this is one of the wires I'm going to be working on, and that's the reason why I'm working on it. I'll cut this bad section out. We'll fish it through all of the rat's nest here so that we can get it to come out on the other end. 